Hi, this is Mr. Knowles, and this video focuses on using the area model of multiplication for two-digit numbers times one-digit numbers. So let's get started. In class, we have base 10 grid paper. Basically, it's just regular graph paper, but at 10 unit increments, there's a dark solid line just to make it easier for the person using the graph paper to know where every 10 is. Uh, it helps with the two digit numbers a lot. So we don't have to sit there and count columns and rows to get to the larger numbers we're trying to get to. And you'll see that as I use the grids throughout the problems. The first problem is five times 12. So I'm gonna take five. I'm going to write it over here, and 5 would be just 5 rows right there. I usually use little circles to represent the single digits. And I'm going to multiply that by 12. So the 12 is going to go up here, and 12 is really 10 plus 2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just draw a nice long line that goes to this section here, that dark line, and that represents the 10 of the 12. I have 10 columns plus two dots that represents the 2 of 12. It's not a very good 2. And now I'm going to fill in this grid 5 times 10, like this. 5 times 10, if you were to count all those little squares, it'd be 50. 5, because I have 5 rows of 10, or 10 columns of 5, I have 50 units in there, 50 squares. And then we use another color for the 2 times 5. And then over here, this little region or area is really 2 times 5. And if you were to count inside there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 10. So 2 times 5, that's 10. So 10's inside there. now we just have to add those up and we call those partial products uh, some parents might have heard of that but we just have to add the 50 and the 10 so what I'm asking students to do in this boxed region in the far right is to write both of those partial products 5 times 10 is 50 2 times 5 is 10, and then I'm going to add those two values right there. 5 plus 10, that's 60. And that's the answer to 5 times 12 is 60. Let's do another one. I have 7 times 15, so I'm going to go a little faster now. 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 15, I'm just going to write my 15 up here. It's really a 10 plus a 5. And then I'm going to just box in my regions or my areas. So this is 7 times 10. I know that's 70. And then 5 times 7. I could count those if I need to, but I, I know that 7 times 5 is, write it down here, 35. Those partial products 
35 and 70 together is the answer to 7 times 15. I have one more thing I need to do. I need to write 7 times 10 is 70, and 7 times 5 is 35. I'm just going to highlight that for you. We're going to add those. Those are our partial products. It's 5 and 7 plus 3, that's 10. So the answer to our problem is 105. I believe I have time for one more. 6 times 25. All right. Looks a little intimidating because it's a larger number, the number 25. But I think we can do this if we use the same system. So I'm just going to put my 6 here. And 25, I'm going to write it up here. is really two tens that make up the 20. So two tens are 20. Notice I drew lines to represent that. And then the plus five, or the five in the ones place of the 20. So all together, 10 plus 10 plus five, that's 25. Now I just simply draw this here to where 5 is, and then I have three regions or areas that make up the entire area, and that will be my answer. Well, 6 times 10 I know is 60. I have another 6 times 10 that also is 60, and my last one is 6 times 5 is 30. I'm going to highlight those for you, those partial products there. Just so you know, if I add those up, that will be my answer to 6 times 25. Last step that I would like you to do is to list those here. 6 times 10 is 60. I have another 6 times 10 is 60. And then I have a 6 times 5 is 30. I'm going to add those up. Just highlight them for you just so you can see them better. Adding those. Well, that's just 0. And 6 plus 6 is 12, plus the 3 is 150. So the answer to 6 times 25 is 150. I hope this video was helpful to you at home or in the classroom if you're watching this. And again, if you need some help, just ask questions. If you need the graph paper, just let me know and I'll send some your way. Good luck. I know you can do it if you just keep practicing. Goodbye.